Welcome back everyone. Today's video we're going to start disassembling the rest of the parts on the RAM which is going to include the radiator support, the door, uh, already got the fender pulled off and we're going to start repairing the frame on it. Um, we got it tied down here so it um, doesn't get pulled to the side since we're going to pull the rail towards the driver's side. We got it pulled pulled tight in the back so it doesn't slide forward. Again, we've never done this before. We've seen it done. So if you got suggestions or ways to do it better, or if we're doing something wrong, please let us know in the comments. Any advice is appreciated. So let's get to work. Importantly, since we're going to be using the welder on this, we got to remember to disconnect the battery, otherwise you will wind up frying your ECUs, BCMs, basically any computers. Alright, so now that we got this all taken off, we got access to everything. We don't have a name brand or <laughs> we just made this tool, but the tram gauge. It's a fairly simple tool. You just need two good straight points and so that it can adjust just so you can see the difference. So we already set this up. The two points that we found is um, on this bolt for the sway bar. Hold up. In the middle. And it's this point is supposed to fit into this hole. So we got an inch and a half that this rail is off approximately because as you can see, do it to this other side and that fits perfectly in the middle. So we're going to get the tower set up and we're going to yank on this, get it back in spot. So we wound up having to put another point here because we noticed that the truck was, we had it lifted so it doesn't slide over, but this side was lifting up. So okay, let's try that again. tug, get it right where it needs to be, now we'll move on to the... So, we got this exactly where it needs to be, this buckle completely came out, but a buckle appeared on the other side, right there, but that would be a lot easier to weld a plate on there and pull this out versus trying to pull the buckle out on the inside. Alright.
so we're working on this ear right here. We got this lip straightened out, that lip straightened out. This was up, this was down, so we got it pretty much straight where it is. Now we just gotta work on this mount, and there is this plate right here on the underneath. That needs to be flat, and that's why we're getting a difference here between there, the other side and this side. But otherwise, going pretty good. Okay, so we got the mount out. We got it straightened as much as we could. Um, pretty close. We got the bump here and here straightened out. And the bump here also straightened out. So, look at that. Not bad. Alright, that'll work. So now we'll put the body back down. So we lifted, unbolted the body from the frame and lifted up the body that way we can get that mount out. Okay, now that we got this mount straightened out and everything else like that, I'm going to go ahead and take this wheel out, put it on a stand, and we are going to try put, yanking this A-pillar out. Take a look what we got inside here. So th these two pieces, you see the spot welds, they got ripped out. So these two pieces are supposed to be together and this is supposed to be completely flat. And this is supposed to be flat. So I'm gonna try getting a clamp on here and then see what happens. Alright, so we're done for today. We, I think we made some pretty decent progress. Got the rail out into place. Got the apron pulled out. I mean, still gotta replace all, re repair all that. Um, this is proving to be a lot stronger and harder than what we thought. Um, I'm gonna come in tomorrow, see what, what we can do to get this all out and fixed. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, welcome back to day two. Uh, we already did a little bit of work this morning. Got a little time lapse I'll show you after this and what we did. The biggest thing that helped us out that we were struggling a little bit last night was our neighbor came and gave us some good clamps. Um, it was this nice big mo clamp. It grabbed onto it, and the harder you pull, the, the more it squeezes, and that didn't break loose, and we were able to get walk some of this out. There's a big um, raise here like this, able to walk that out. We've got most of the stuff out underneath. So we're making pretty good progress for our first, first frame machine job. Now we're at a point where we are going to need to set up our new welder that we bought and weld some of these plates to here. This will slide onto there and we'll be able to walk all this out where we can all we'll need is just a, s a small skim coat 
So we'll set up our welder and we'll try that for the first time also. Wop a doodle doodle wop. Beep beep a doodle wo. Doodle doodle wop a ba ba do. Easy talk means I love you. Wop a doodle doodle wop. Beep beep a doodle wo. Doodle doodle wop a ba ba do. Easy talk means I love you. Wop a doodle doodle wop. Beep beep a doodle wo. Doodle doodle wop a ba ba do. Easy talk means I love you. Wop a doodle doodle wop. Beep beep a doodle wo. Doodle doodle wop a ba ba do. Easy talk means I love you. Wop a doodle doodle wop. Beep beep a doodle wo. Doodle doodle wop wop ba ba do. Easy talk means I love you. Wop a doodle doodle wop. Let's see what happens. So this gate is supposed to drop to 20. Just a little slow. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. done this before but I think for a first time all came out pretty good you got all that shaped out it looks a little rough we'll still clean everything up hammer and dolly everything and uh, throw a little bondo on there and it should be good so pretty good but done for today and uh, continue working on tomorrow okay so day three of our fr frame project on this ram so as we, yesterday we got all this out. On the back here, you can see it's still a little bit mangled, so we're gonna still try uh, pu pulling that stuff out by welding the plate to it and see how much of it we can get out. Um, that way it's as close to its original shape as possible. Okay, so we're getting ready to try to straighten this kink out in the apron. We got this, we got the plate welded on there. That. And because this has such a hard, sharp kink there, we're gonna heat it up just a little bit. We're gonna get it warm, not red hot, just a little warm. And hopefully that will get this down and this and give me enough room. It'll open it up enough, give me enough room to weld this plate under there so I can get this out. Once I can get this out, this should be a lot easier to get out.
gotta stand on the side of it. You don't wanna get whacked in the face with that. Okay, so after a couple attempts and ripping out holes, uh, we decided to just cut this out. We're gonna hammer and dolly this on the floor and then we'll weld it back in because it was just really hard to get anything welded solidly into that kink because it was so hard. So we'll just go ahead and take that out. Alright, so we're done with day three. We got this all straightened out, got it welded in, grinded some of it down. Um, I think it looks really good. We'll finish off this tomorrow, grinding all this down. Pull this little kink on the frame. And then start putting parts on it to see if everything lines up. If not, adjust it once everything lines up. And then we'll start doing the, the uh, Bondo painting it, and then all the final stuff. Okay, so we got a lot of the parts hung on here. We got the headlights, the grill, the fender. Everything's lining up really nice. The radiator support fit right into place. So, really happy with that, especially with this being our very first frame that we've been doing by ourselves. Um, so, that's really a good sign. The next step was gonna be the bumper, but before we do the bumper, we still gotta take care of those brackets that the lower control arm is. Uh, connected to since it was hitting the wheel and they're pushed back a little bit so we're gonna pull those back out put this bumper together hang the bumper on there once we see that happy with everything how it lines up we'll disassemble everything start grinding the last of it a little bit of mud work paint it and then uh, paint the parts Okay, so we are finally done with the frame part of the repair on this Dodge Ram. We got the bumpers on there. We had to pull them out a little bit so that way once this cover is on there so everything matches up nicely. The aftermarket ones were in. So good thing we fitted those before we took it off the frame. Made it a little bit easier to fix that. But as you can see, everything lines up fairly nice, we still don't have the hood latch on here, but everything lines up, all the gaps are there. We got our A-pillar all fixed up, the rocker here. All the gaps are nice on the door, the fender. Still got a this came from the junkyard a little bit dented up, but that's okay, no big deal to fix that up. And we've got the quarter fixed up, ready for a little bit of putty. Same thing with the rear bumpers. They were too far in, we had to pull them out. Um, but otherwise, now it fits nicely. Still got like a little bit of damage here, but we don't need it on the frame. 
Okay, so basically this part is done. Now we're going to get it off the frame, put it back into a, a different part of the shop, and we'll start disassembling everything again, prepping everything using Bondo, uh, basically getting it ready for paint, and um, that's going to be our next video, so make sure you catch that, subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, once we get that all done, then we'll go on to the next part, which will be paint and final reassembly. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.